Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange Single Sign On Service. We get a variety of queries every day with single sign on use cases. Let's walk through the most common use case scenario. Hello, is there a way my users can log in using WordPress users, and we don't need to move user identities from our website to anywhere? Yes, the solution is to authenticate users into your third-party application using their WordPress site credentials. Let me show you how it looks like. Let's create a user in WordPress. Now, let's sign in into our demo Moodle site using the credentials from WordPress. Just click on the Login with WordPress button. You can see that we have customized it to look just like the WordPress login page. Mini Orange uses APIs to authenticate users from your WordPress site. Log in with the user credentials that you created in WordPress. We are logged into our Moodle site using WordPress credentials. Great, and what if I want to include social login into my site as well? No worries. Mini Orange completely supports social login. Let's have a look into it. Click on the Login with WordPress button. Now click on Continue with Google. This will redirect you to the Google login page. Just log in with your Google credentials. And just so. We are logged in using our Google credentials. Oh nice! Can we implement multi-factor authentication over our site? We at MiniOrange support 15 plus MFA methods including OTP over SMS, OTP over email, Google Authenticator, Mini Orange Authenticator, Soft Token etc. Let us go through one of them in this video. Click on the Login with WordPress button. Enter your WordPress credentials. You will be prompted with the 2FA method that is configured. Here we have configured the QR code scanner in Mini Orange Authenticator app. We are logged into our Moodle site using multi-factor authentication. Great! Now I want my users to directly get logged into my third-party application from my WordPress site. Well let's see how it looks like. Log in to your WordPress site. Enter your WordPress credentials. Click on the link to go to your third-party application. We are logged into our Moodle site. Great! Mini Orange recognizes the session created on your WordPress site to log the user in into your third-party application. We hope most of your questions about SSO into your application using WordPress credentials are answered. Let me give you a quick recap of what you flows we covered in the video. We saw single sign-on into your application using WordPress as an IDP via Application Initiated Login, Social Login, Multi-Factor Authentication, and Login into your application from your WordPress site with just a click. Thank you for watching this video. For any other questions drop us a query on info at Zecurify.com.